What I would like to do now is introduce our first speaker of the day. We're going to first have Christine Lechinger, who is the uh, village president of, of Lake Bluff. Uh, we will have Christine do her presentation and also a Q&A. And then we will have Mayor James Cowie come up and do his presentation on behalf of Lake Forest. I'll tell you a little bit about Chris. She has been village president since 2005. She was a former village of Lake Bluff trustee, 1999 to 2005, former chairperson of the Lake Bluff Village Board Public Works Committee, former member of the Lake Bluff Village Board Finance Committee and Economic Development Committee. She has also been a volunteer as treasurer of the Joint Action Water Agency, or JAWA, as we all call it, 2005 to the present, and alternate director of JAWA from 2000 to 2005. Her day job, is as professor at Kendall College specializing in accounting, cost control, and feasibility studies. She's been a resident of Lake Bluff since 1987, and she and her husband Robert have two sons, Daniel and David. I am very pleased to introduce our village president, Christine Lechinger. Thank you. The reason why we're happy in Lake Bluff is because of what we're putting in the water. <laughs> it's not fluoride. Um, a, thankfully, this is my last appearance in front of the chamber. As Joanna said, I have been a uh, village president for nearly eight years um, and a trustee before. And uh, Liberation Day is in nine months. <laughs> not that I'm counting. Um, Strangely enough, I started my tenure as a president with Stonebridge, and I will most likely end my tenure as president with Stonebridge. So uh, God has a wicked sense of humor, I think. <laughs> um, during uh, my tenure, and, and, and you know, I want to talk a bit about the past and the present and, and the future, to the extent that I know what's going to happen in the future. <clears throat> during, during my tenure as village president, the village has undergone many transformation. Some of them are visible, some of them are invisible, but both matter a great deal. Both are important because in order to sustain a small community like ours, uh, we need to work on both fronts. The visible is about the perception, the perception that things are happening in Lake Bluff, that there is some momentum, some growth, some evolution. And, and so you shore up the visible, I mean, the perception with the visible. Uh, the invisible is about processes. And it's indispensable because without good processes, you do not sustain the momentum. Um, and, and, and basically, our motto in Lake Bluff is to look at our processes and always ask ourselves, how can we do it better, cheaper, and faster? And, and, and that is important because we live in a very competitive world. Uh, we, in tough economic environment, and I think that to the extent that we are more responsive to the resident or people that are interested to move into the village uh, is absolutely essential. So uh, let's start with the visible. Well, of course, um, the first thing that happened was the redevelopment of the downtown in Lake Bluff, Block 1, and, and also the older block. Uh, on behalf of politicians that are suffering from a, an image problem, to say the least. I want to say that before we got it right, downtown Lake Bluff, we failed twice. Um, every time we failed, though, we learned a lesson. A, and and uh, one of my habit as a village president is when we make a decision, I sort of make a list of what I expect to happen. And then a year later, I look at my list and realized that not everything that I expected happened, and that also um, some of the stuff that I did not expect happened. But hopefully then we, we do a post-mortem and 
the next time we make a decision, we sort of think about that and, and revise our processes. So uh, the second thing is that uh, there's been a slow and steady evolution of the Waukegan Corridor. The Waukegan Corridor is east of Waukegan Road and south of 176. This was originally designed as a light industrial park. And what is happening slowly and surely is that it is converting to more of a retail base. So there is a complete disconnect between the underlying zoning and actually the market. And, and so uh, uh, I, wanna, I wanna take a, a minute to talk about zoning laws. Uh, a lot of people think that zoning laws are set in stone. Um, I'm from Paris, um, Paris, France, that is, um, a, not Paris, Texas. Um, a, and, and I travel a great deal. And, and um, it, what is very interesting is that in Paris, uh, you will see buildings that have gone from apartment to offices, back to apartment. Uh, with some retail in them. Uh, uh, so so the, the zoning, in a sense, is a lot more flexible. At the same time, uh, uh, one would argue that they did pretty well in Paris with their zoning. Um, so so uh, what we're doing right now is that we're looking at that Lake Bluff, cor uh, that uh, Waukegan corridor, and see to what extent we can modify the zoning and, 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 and sort of uh, anticipate the future or be ready for when the future knocks on our door. Um, another thing that is visible, but somewhat invisible, is that um, we were able to uh, uh, negotiate with ComEd. Um, they needed a substation. And, and um, while we did not have the right to uh, forbid them from having the this, this substation, uh, we could make their life miserable by lengthening the process, you know, uh, paralysis through analysis. And they needed a substation very fa fast, so we were able to get about a half a million dollar in infrastructure. And if you live on the east side of Lake Bluff, uh, you may recall that there was constant power interruption. Every week there was power inter interruption and that has changed. Um, of course, we did the expansion of the uh, Joint Water Agency, JAWA, uh, and I'm sure that after last week, our friends in Lake Forest are keenly aware of the need for water. Um, and um, we also privatize the waste collection. That's a quarter million dollar saving every year. Um, other initiative, we did this with Lake Forest, the Electricity Aggregation Program. We are actually now in Lake Bluff looking at solar panels. Uh, we don't have anything on the book for solar panel, and I think it's something we should look at. Um, as Joanna mentioned, we have, of course, the uh, uh, Coastal Living Award, two awards. And, and, and uh, two months ago, one month ago, we had our first uh, uh, bike race. It was called the Criterion, but I like to refer to it as uh, um, the Lake Bluff tour. So, um, so this is really what is the visible. This is what contributes to the perception that things are happening in Lake Bluff. On the invisible side, which is actually my favorite side, um, it, it's about the review process and our financial position. Those are the two pillars that support the growth and the momentum. Uh, as village president, I've seen two upgrade in credit rating. Um, Joanna didn't say this, but I, I teach finance, so I love credit rating agency. Um, a, a, the latest one, of course, was AAA, and we got AAA during the uh, worst recession in our lifetime. Uh, so we're pretty happy with this. Uh, our operating level, as far as reserve, is back to comfortable level, though being slightly paranoid, I'd like to see it bigger. We also have done a systematic codification of all the zoning rule and ordinance in the village. Zoning codes or village codes are built uh, as, as processes year after year. And uh, a, a, 
this codification was important because it allowed us to see inconsistency across our rules and regulation. Now you're gonna say, who cares? Um, well, we don't care that much about the inconsistency until we get sued, and that's an expensive proposition, okay? This codification is easy reference for the residents. It allows also people that may be interested to come into the village for business purpose. So car dealership, and, um, and I'm thinking big ticket items, but you know, or small business people to um, uh, 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 have access to a document that sets out the rules. Interestingly enough, when I first on the, got on the board under President Walk, Walker, this is one of, that was one of his great ambitions. We have done a lot of infrastructure rehab. Uh, sewers and water lines are not sexy, but they're terribly necessary. 